The match we have next is going to be awesome. Stay where you are. Can I just move right over here? We have Undertaker against Jack Swagger. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. We've seen Jack Swagger be responsible for some of the most heinous assaults in this business. The real American possesses a lethal arsenal with power moves, suplexes, and crippling submissions. Well, in these head-to-head -head matchups, you've got no one to rely on but yourself. And that's the way it should be. Mono a mono. One fall will decide it. And one last thing. These so-called laid-back fans in Santa Clara are anything but. They're fired up here tonight. The legendary Undertaker. What must he be thinking right now? So what can these WWE fans expect out of him tonight? Well, we're going to find out who's the better competitor. That's for sure. No gimmicks here. Just some good old-fashioned one-on-one action. It's matchups like this that make the WWE the most popular spectator sport in the world. Not going to win many matches with that move. King, there is no question The Undertaker is the most dangerous entity to ever set foot in WWE's 20 by 20 foot ring of canvas and steel. Well, Michael, from his remarkable career and what I have seen firsthand announcing for so many of his incredible battles, you're absolutely right. Undertaker is the most dangerous entity in WWE history. And I think his opponents would agree as well. First time we've seen that executed. Undertaker looking mortal here. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. King, it just comes down to the simple fact that no one is more dangerous and can end someone's career with more authority than The Undertaker. The Phenom is so powerful, so destructive, that no one else can compare to him in the ring. Work is being put in by The Undertaker. And he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The freeze may give him a goal. You know, it just amazes me that the Undertaker's power continues to strengthen over time and that no one, well, except for Brock Lesnar, after so many years, can find a way to ultimately conquer him. It's unbelievable, Cole. I have no idea where his path of destruction is going to take him next. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Damn, Nothing good ever it. happens outside the ring. This is not how you want to see a matchup like this end. Here's your winner, The Undertaker. The official call for the bell, and this one ends via countout. You got to pay attention to the ref's count or risk losing like this. Yeah, what a battle to end this way. There's nothing more pure than picking up a win in a good old-fashioned one-on-one fight. And there's no denying that the Santa Clara crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Would you listen to them?